Greetings, prisoners of gravity. This is Commander Rick cutting in with a comics quiz. Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster are famous for co-creating Superman. Bob Kane is known for Batman. But who created or co-created Captain America, the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, the Mighty Thor, Commandy, the Demon, the Forever People, Nick Fury, the New Gods, Mr. Miracle, and dozens of others? One man. Jack Kirby. He's the guy to blame if your kids or yourself seem to have an unnatural longing to turn on the TV set on a Saturday morning and join the company of some superheroes. I'm, I'm, I am completely fascinated at the way that the comics have become the starting point for these huge tentpole movies. There is an enormous amount of really interesting source material. You know, the people tend to forget. They'll talk about Stan Lee, for example. You know, Stan Lee was the corporate face, and Stan Lee wrote some great dialogue. But um, so much of what is magic came from Kirby. What do your characters represent? Well, the characters represent uh, a sort of a, a transcendent feeling that we, we all have inside us, that we could do better. We want to do better. Uh, we can be the people that we Lionize. He was the most imaginative, inventive guy I've ever met. I mean, he, his imagination was incredible. The things he thought of. I would have been proud to have said, Jack and I did the Fantastic Four and let it go with that. But my gosh, at the same time, we were doing Thor and we were doing the X-Men and we were doing Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. And Jack was equally good at every one of them, every one of them. My heroes didn't merely walk, they ran. They had long strides. They represented power, the power of the individual. I've always worshipped the individual. I see that story first. I feel that story first. I know those people first. When I put them down, they've already lived. The idea that comic book films could exist, could be taken seriously, could be good, was heretical 30-something years ago. Most people will go, well, nobody in comics ever predicted this. Jack Kirby knew that this was going to happen. He knew that at the point where your CGI, special effects, VFX world could actually bring what was on the page into the world, the characters that he created were going to become huge. I've sort of shot this in a very similar way to how I shoot my other films. With this particular scene and with everything on Sakaar, we, um, we really concentrated a lot on, on these sort of Jack Kirby lines and um, you know, he was a huge influence on the design of the film. I think the trend will continue and uh, you'll see uh, good ones made and bad ones made. The superhero uh, has and always will be part of the American scene. You know, Jack changed the world and I'm really relieved to see Jack getting the credit now on the movies and the credit for what he did and being brought back into the fold. Jack Kirby was an industry icon, redefined comics, not only with his eye-popping artwork, but with his bold point of view of what comics could be. And it's really impossible to convey his impact on the industry because his work is still inspiring and influencing artists today. If you look at my characters, you'll find me. No matter what kind of character you create, or assume a little of yourself must remain there.